Today we're going to talk about how you can analyze fully an IP address because if you're already working in SOC or Security Operations Center, you always or every day face with IP address. You get your CM tool, your EDR, your you know log network tool or any tool you use, you have the IP addresses, domain, and many, many type of indicators. So you need to know how you can collect them and analyze them. So for today, we're going to teach you how we can analyze an IP address. I have one example. This is an example. This is an IP address I got over the internet. And we are going to use this today. And with all those tools you see here, we're going to analyze this IP address fully. So after the analyze, you know, this, that will help you to know at work how you can analyze any type of IP address. IPv4, V6 will be the same idea. Any type of IP address can be malicious, not malicious, how you can find it. So let's start. The first thing to do when you are analyzing an IP address, it's to know where this IP address is coming from, who is the owner. And the best tool, or one of the best tool for that, it's the who is domain lookup. You type the IP, address you type search you see a bunch of information that's easy ip location where it's located united states san jo jose or jose uh, it depends on how you read it cloudfare inc cloudfare asn that's the asn yes and you have some information yes like ip address and the the, the range and the net name you start already to see a couple of information but what will be the most important for you? This is the metadata of the IP to, I mean, get more information where the IP is located, who is the owner of the IP. You see all those information, where it's located. That's very important. We need to know where the IP is located. Why? Because you, you this is, I mean, imagine that you're working for a big company. You see an IP targeting you or you see a suspicious IP, you need to know where the IP is coming. Do you have a business there? Where this IP is coming? Can you trust the location, the source of the IP? So that's why you need to know the location. Yes, and, and the organization name, Cloudflare. When you see Cloudflare, a Cloudflare, if you don't know, you can take it, it's easy. Type over the internet, what is it? And read about. Then you get more information about this company. Because sometimes the, uh, the IP can come from, you know, some type of service provider, which is not trustworthy. And by checking it, you can have more information about the location, the owner of this IP. If you, you know, uh, this is not your partner, but you got some information about that's very important. Yes. So where is located, you have all those information. So those information can help you to trust this IP. Yes. Update. Okay, 2010, uh, 2024. Well, now we see, started to see more information if you want to contact them. So those are, you know, information from this company. And from that information, we now start to think, okay, can we trust or not? What I'm going to do, I will take this link, abuse IPDB, and I will tap this IP to get some information to see, okay, did someone report this or not? Because AP, ABS IPDB is used for that. And if you want to get more information about ABS IPDB, we already provided a video about that a few weeks ago. You can go back in our video and get more information about it. Okay, so we see, okay, internet service provider, content delivery network. This IP is used for, by Cloudflare as content delivery network. And reported, okay, we have no information here. It wasn't reported. That's very important for us. Yes, because if it was reported, even though Cloudflare is a legitimate company, but we know that Cloudflare, you know, many people can store resources there. Sometimes the malicious content can be there because we know Cloudflare. Yeah. So if you don't know that company, you can read about, like I told you, to get more information. But for this one, for example, there is no abuse actually. That's fine. Okay. So now let's check census. Census 
we already also talk about census. If you want to have more information about census, you can go back in our videos and get more information. So now let's focus on this IP. You type the IP on census to see what are the services available, which port, what is there. So we, 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 we see some DNS related to this IP, four-way DNS, yes? Cloudflare, okay, that's also a very important, that's correlation, yes? Francisco and, uh, you know, the same information as we see before from the two other sources. And we see the port, HTTP 80, 443, we see some ports. Yes, you can check those ports to be, uh, I mean, sure, what is there? This is probably proxy, some type of proxy store there. You can expand and see what is the enable JavaScript and cookie to continue. Those are some information, HTTP, some website hosted there and some information hosted on this IP. But we don't see any suspicious service open there. Yes, because sometimes you, you see the IP address maybe hosting some malware. But in this case, we know that it's from Cloudflare and there is no suspicious service. That's very important for, no, for us. Yes. So what I'm going to do now again, I will check Shodan because Shodan is quite similar to Census to find, you know, what is there, what is stored there. It's always good to, you know, check different sources to get more information. So we, we check Shodan, we will see what is there. Okay, also Cloudflare and CDN Content Delivery Network. And we see the port, almost the same port we saw before. So, which is a big hint for us, there is no vulnerability mentioned in Shodan. That's very important, which means still the IP look clean. Yeah, we don't see anything suspicious. So, let's check various total to see if this IP was in touch somehow with some malicious domain files or anything. So, we go again. Which Take the IP, search, type. Okay, nothing detected, everything is in green. And virus total is amazing. If you want to know how to use it, you can also go back in our previous video and get more information about. So details, Cloudflare and the ASN. And, and we see some information about this IP like we saw before, yes. And we see how we, we, you can contact them in case you need to contact them of abuse and anything. Yes, here you, you, we see Google search with this IP. We can check it also get some information. Relationship, this is the most important things actually. We want to get some information. For example, passive DNS, different DNS that we're resolving in this, the time, you see the time few days ago, few days ago, this IP address, it's not detected by Various total has malicious of phishing, which is fine. You can expand it. Maybe you can see some IP, maybe uh, some domain that were resolving in this IP, malicious domain. That's very important to know. But now we don't see anything suspicious, which is fine. But communication file, where some strange file communicating or getting in touch with this IP. Yes, we see some. We see this. We see this. You can click on them and expand and get some information about them to know why, how, what happened. We see that somehow some other file also, you know, were in touch, which are malicious file. So that's very important. Why? Because Cloudflare, yes, people can use it to abuse other organizations. But Cloudflare, it's a legitimate company. Yes, they have DDoS protection, content delivery, and a lot of things there. So people can store their website there, can use it as content delivery and anything. So it could be that someone use it for some reason. That's why we see those files, yes? So that's very important for us, which means in my organization, if I see something like this, I see this IP, I need to check, okay, who was in touch with this IP and what happened? Was any email received from that user or any file you click or anything, yeah? Because I see some type of files, connection, zip, and, you know, anything like this. Yes, this is AP key. This is for Android, yes? 
So you need to analyze those and also check your CM and EDR if those users in touch with this IP maybe download something or something happened there. Yes, that's very important. So let's check another link. Uh, let's go, you know, and check URL scan. That's very interesting. What is there? Okay, we take the IP. And what I like to do usually with URL scan, because URL scan also has this feature to check the IP, you know, and see different websites related to this IP. We see some website here. You can check those websites, for example, yes, show hint, and you will see many different type of website resolving on this some month ago, some time ago. That's very important. You can check them if it was, you know, detected as phishing or not. That can help you to get more information or if it was mimicking, you know, any other non website. Those are important for us to be sure that this IP is clean. Yes, because this is the idea. We want to know that the IP is clean. It's used for what? We don't see anything suspicious there. We can trust this or we need to monitor or we need to block. Yes, that's the idea. So we don't see much. Okay, so let's check the last tool. Yes, we can we check all the rest. Okay, this is hacker target and let's go there. Okay, sorry, I took everything there. Okay, IP. Okay, let, let's see what will be there also. So here we see that it's clean from Alien Vault, from AB, uh, CH, Spam House, and all other, you know, sources fire all and you know all other sources clean clean that's very important for us yes cloudflare and so on and and we see the domain behind this ip they all look like green you know if you want you can click on them and 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 and, and, and you know go on google or uh, various total get some information but we see that they look like normal one they are actually active because that's why they are in green i think and we don't see much and we believe actually that this ip is a clean ip because we check many sources we didn't get any information that's very important and the last thing we could do we, we could type the ip here maybe we could get some information as well you never know i that's very important also but we don't see much Yes, like we did already real scan and they also getting some information from other tool. And this is a app in your run. You can click on it at somehow interesting to see where, you know, the connection with app in your run. Yes, let's see. Okay, somehow the IP address was detected on app in your run for some reason. Okay, malicious activity and why this ip was there we need we need to know the reason and okay this ip was there easy use cloudflare okay probably it was sending some connection to this in cloudflare you can click on it and expand and analyze it yes you can check it also like this but to be honest it's already enough for us to prove that this ip based on all the information we found to prove that this IP is benign is from Cloudflare and we know that this is a legitimate company. It's a CDN, DDoS protection, offering many features that people can use to abuse by. But by default, the IP is fine. It's normal one. Then it depends on uh, the reason you're analyzing it to make a recommendation. Because this IP, I will not recommend to block it. Maybe you can monitor it or you know check deeper in your organization people who were in touch with the ip and make some recommendation at the end so it's over for today that was OSINT africa we show you today how you can fully analyze an ip address and make a conclusion thank you and don't forget to subscribe see you soon